Birum Sorensen has brought out a publication that is the European Expert Consensus on how to manage spasticity. And we have four physiatrists and four neurologists who come together to decide on how to manage generalized spasticity and when to use intrathecal baclofen versus the Botox. Um, they end up serving about 79 different practitioners who use these modalities. And what they came to as a conclusion was kind of common sense. If there's generalized spasticity that is refractory to oral medications, you should be doing a pump. If it's focal spasticity, you can do back with them, or Botox, sorry. Now, the question is, what does this actually add? This is kind of common sense. There's nothing special here. What it does add, though, is it shows us how much people overlook really simple treatments like a cytodroxal rhizotomy, which is on par with, if not better than, an intrathecal baclofen pump. It's a one-time deal, and it's good for the rest of a person's life. What this shows us is how much the markets and pharma lobby have manipulated all of the media around educating doctors, such that if you don't know what you don't know, you only know what is available, and you won't be able to help patients properly. An intrathecal baclofen pump will work for about five years. They need to keep refilling it every few months. And versus the dorsal rhizotomy, which doesn't have those kinds of issues.